Greetings, it's Alex Scher for the Shelburne Freelancer. I'm here today at Shelburne Town Hall and I'm here with Shelburne Town Councillor Stephen Anderson and today we're going to talk a little bit about Black History Month. It's a very important topic and we're going to hear why. Well, first of all, thanks Alex for the opportunity to platform to uh, discuss Black History Month. It's important, why? Because Black history is Canadian history. Uh, we live in a country that values diversity and the contributions that uh, our various groups make to uh, this great country. And Black History Month uh, and Black Canadians, particularly in the town of Shelburne, are no different. Uh, black history gives me an opportunity to reflect and celebrate those who have paved the way before me, individuals like uh, Viola Desmond, we have individuals like Willie O'Ree, which was the first black hockey player to sit up in the NHL for the Boston Bruins in 1958. Um, taking it to the political realm, we have people like Justice Jean Augustine, or Jean Augustine rather, who was the first woman appointed to federal cabinet. Uh, it also gives me an opportunity to look at what black Canadians are doing right here in the town of Shelburne, Alex. Uh, I look at uh, individuals like uh, Pastor Sterling at the Shelburne Worship Center and his family and what they're doing for the community. Uh, there's Pastor Sullivan as well at the Primrose Church. He has a local ice cream shop and I know that he's been part of many community issues as well. And I also look at families such as Alton and Alethea Stevenson who have a drop-in basketball camp at the, El uh, at the Glenbrook uh, uh, Elementary School a couple nights uh, a week uh, to engage the youth. So it's an opportunity to reflect on all of that and it's also an opportunity, Alex, to look forward as well. When I look at my own contributions to the community, the sort of legacy that I want to leave behind, uh, what I'm hoping to do is to inspire those who are coming behind us to also leave their mark on the community as well. Yes, it is always a nice um, incentive to imagine yourself leaving the planet a better place than before you arrived. Uh, since you've been here for two years, I think. Just a little bit longer than that, going at three years. Going three on years. Um, what have you noticed in changes? You're a town councillor mm -hmm. and you're a resident, so you have a unique perspective. Well, I mean, the, the area is increasingly diverse. I think anybody who's walking on the streets are, are able to see just that. Uh, and, you know, at the meeting greet that I had uh, not too long ago, one of the things I've said about the diversity that we have here in Shelburne, there are two ways of dealing with it. Either we run away from it because we're afraid or we embrace it. And I feel that the majority of residents here are embracing the diversity and the richness that it brings. And as you know, uh, Alex, there, there is the um, Shelburne Multicultural Day that's being held on April 21st at the uh, Shelburne Public Library. Uh, this is just another opportunity to showcase the diversity and the richness of the diversity that we have here in town. So uh, I'm proud to be on council representing all of our residents uh, and I'm honored to uh, again, partake and enhance the diversity that we have here in the town. And so it's exciting times, and I'm proud to be a resident here in the town of Shelburne. Okay. Yeah. This is Alex Scher for the Shelburne Freelancer, sharing Shelburne with the world, and thank you, Councillor Steve Anderson, for your input on Black History Month. Thank you, Alex.